what, what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? I hate to burst your bubble, but I got more proof that America is and always has been a racist country. Virginia's Governor Ralph Northam granted posthumous pardons Tuesday to seven black men who were executed in 1951 for the rape of a white woman in a case that attracted pleas for mercy from around the world and in recent years has been denounced as an example of racial disparity in the use of the death penalty. Northam announced the pardons after meeting with about a dozen descendants of the men and their advocates. Cries and sobs could be heard from some of the descendants after Northam's announcement. The Martinsville Seven, as the men became known, were all convicted of raping 32-year-old Ruby Shroud Floyd, a white woman who had gone to a predominantly black neighborhood in Martinsville, Virginia on January 8, 1949 to collect money for clothes she had sold. Four of the men were executed in Virginia's electric chair on February 2nd, 1951. Three days later, the remaining three were also executed. All of them were tried by all white juries. No surprise there. It was the largest group of people executed for a single victim crime in Virginia's history. At the time, Rape was a capital offense, but Northam said Tuesday that the death penalty for rape was applied almost exclusively to black people. From 1908, when Virginia began using the electric chair to 1951, state records show that all 45 people executed for rape were black, he said. And check out the hustle, fam. The pardons do not address the guilt or innocence of the men, but Northam said the pardons are an acknowledgement that they did not receive due process and received a racially biased death sentence not similarly applied to white defendants. He could have kept that sucker. Even when they're acting like they are being empathetic, they are being right and just, they can't do it. All that clown had to say that these men were executed because they were black. End of discussion. We don't even get to all this, all this guilt or innocence. Man, ain't no safe fam. If he didn't believe that those men were innocent, he would not have given them pardons. He wouldn't have done that. He knows that they were innocent, just like the savages who killed them and the savages who witnessed it and celebrated their deaths knew. Isn't that something how, how like just by your skin color alone, you can go out and commit crimes and just say the black guy did it. And you automatically get a pass. They don't even look your way. You just say the black guy did it. And they go out and kill an innocent man, kill an innocent boy. The punishment, even if they did do what they were accused of doing, which they did. But even if they did, the punishment did not fit the crime. From 1908 to 1951, all 45 men murdered was black. It, all 45 state sanctioned murders were black men. But we're supposed to respect the state. We're supposed to respect law enforcement. And with all of this shit they do. We see we, we're still supposed to just, you know, just respect them and you know, honor it and salute and all that shit. 
no can do. To every member of law enforcement, the court, the community, who stood by, who watched, who advocated for the deaths of these men, including your grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Every single one of your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the haters talking about?